of the skill you need the least, but want the most. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to ride wheelies. I'm Eric Porter, I'm out here with my boys Milo and Owen today, and the problem is, they still don't know how to ride wheelies, and they want to more than anything, because it is the coolest trick you can do on a bike, and it's so much fun to do every ride all the time. So I'm gonna teach them how to ride wheelies, and while I'm doing that, pass all that info along to you as well. The problem I have with wheelies is that my bar is always just like, turn like this. And also, it's just scary to keep it back. The problem I have with wheelies is like, I can get them up, but then like I either keep on pedaling and loop out, or then I stop pedaling and I like lose the wheelie, because it's hard to keep it balanced. Sometimes I get super side to side. I try to like turn the wheels to keep it balanced, but it sometimes doesn't really work. There's a lot more to wheelies than just popping up your front wheel and hoping it works out. So I'm gonna go through all the steps, including how to set up your bike, where to ride, and how to practice. All of the steps I'm about to tell you to practice wheelies are as important as the one that comes before it. Make sure to watch the whole video before you go out and practice because they're all gonna build on one another. By the end of this video, you'll know how to practice wheelies yourself and then just go put in the time and get it done. You don't have to have a certain type of bike to ride wheelies. You can do it on a mountain bike, road bike, dirt jumper, anything. They all work. Some are easier than others, but I would recommend just riding on the bike that you've got. The most important bike setup tip is making sure your back brake works well. So check that, make sure it works, stops, and that's the main way you keep from looping out and landing on your back. I highly recommend putting flat pedals on your bike as well so that you can take your feet off when you need to, and if you do loop out, you can put your feet down and not just loop out and land on your back like I did when I was learning to ride wheelies, clipped in, racing cross country in high school. It hurts. The last part of bike setup is dropping your seat about two inches. If you leave your seat all the way up, your center of gravity is really high and it's further back. And if your seat's all the way down, your legs are really bent so it's hard to pedal and get extension. Once you get good at wheelies, you can ride them in whatever seat position you want though. You wanna make sure your gearing is whatever you would use for like an easy spin up this hill. You wanna go one or two clicks harder than that because you need enough power to get that front wheel up. Okay. You might think going to a grass field is the best place because it's a little bit softer, but it can actually be more difficult because grass is soft and slow and uneven. The most important part is finding something that's like a slight uphill, just like this. The reason is your front wheel's already a little bit higher and you can control your speed easily. If you're trying to pedal to get a wheelie up and you're going downhill, you're gonna get your speed out of control. So when you're riding a wheelie, you're balancing on your rear axle. That's your balance point. So between the weight of your bike, the weight of your body, it's all balancing on this point right here. One of Owen's biggest problems when riding wheelies is the T-Rex arms. And when you do this, you're actually putting your weight forward over the front wheel, which makes it even harder to balance. So what we'll do is keep our arms straight, lock up your back wheel. And with your arms straight, your weight is actually shifted further back so that you're balancing your body over this rear axle. So you're trying to find this balance point right there. The wheelie is basically balancing between pedaling to get your front wheel up and braking to get your front wheel down. You try to find that balance point and it, you kind of hover in there when you get to the right spot. Now that we got body position dialed, let's talk about how to actually get the front wheel in the air. So a lot of people think you gotta pull up the front wheel to get the wheelie up. What you're actually doing is you're combining a pedal stroke with a weight shift. So you can compress your fork and then as you pedal and shift your weight backwards, that throws your weight backwards and then the pedal stroke lifts it up. Everyone has a preferred foot forward. For me, it's left foot forward that I like to ride most of the time. Owen and Milo like right foot forward. It's something you're just born with and you figure out what feels comfortable. So when you start a wheelie, it's important to start with your wrong foot forward. The reason you do that is because that first half of pedal stroke is what pops up the front wheel, and then your normal foot is forward once the wheel's up, and you're in a comfortable position to continue pedaling and feel balanced and stable. So if you do loop out and your back brake doesn't save you, you can just slide right off the back of the seat. So now it's time to actually practice, Owen. Okay. So we're gonna start slow pedaling uphill. You want a little bit of speed, but not too much. You're gonna shift your weight forward, then with your wrong foot forward, give that hard pedal crank as you shift your weight backwards. And as soon as it pops up, I want you to grab that back brake and slam it back down. And so we're gonna do that a few times to practice popping it up with our throttle, with our pedals, and then grabbing the brake to slam it back down. And after we do that a few times, we're gonna start to get used to it, to where we can feather the brake and really start to feel that control. Milo, you wanna to practice too? Yes, please. So the kids have been practicing wheelies a bunch on their own time, but I haven't been out with them to actually give them these tips. So I'm excited to see how this works. Yeah, me too. All right, arms straight, left foot forward, there you go. And then use your brake to shut it down, nice. Okay, Owen, so wrong foot forward, there you go. 
go in one gear harder. There you go. So you're starting to learn how to trust that back brake. Soft pedal until you're getting ready to do it. Don't stop pedaling before you pop the wheelie up. So he's soft pedaling. He's getting his timing right. There it was. See how he never stops pedaling, Owen? And so he throws the power down once he throws his weight back, right? Are you a little discouraged? Nah. Hey, if it was easy, everyone would ride wheelies everywhere. Yeah. It just takes practice. Keep it up, bud. So just keep pedaling. And then when you're about to throw that power down, there you go. That was better. Now feather your brake next time, okay? Because you know that your back brake throws that front wheel down so you can trust it, right? There you go. Do you want your seat down like one more inch? Yeah. Like that was like halfway between trusting and not trusting. Yeah, you started to loop out. You kind of did a Superman, but you saved it. Milo, those are looking good. Thanks. This time, just feather your brake so that you keep that front wheel up a little bit longer. I'm trying to get that front to back balance dialed. Nice. I have trouble keeping my balance like side to side. The side to side balance will come but we gotta work on the front to back balance first because you don't even have time to balance the side to side yet. I forgot to mention maybe the most important part of this whole thing, which is relax. Okay. When you're really tense, you can't balance because everything's locked up and tight. So just try to relax, take a deep breath before you pop up a wheelie and just try to stay loose and relaxed so that you can move around on the bike. Okay, I'll do that this time. All right. That's way better. So that time you shifted your weight back and you relaxed, like you sat down into the wheelie, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Keep that was doing that and then we'll start to work on the side to side. Okay. There you go. You're still bending your arms though, which is keeping you too far forward. There it is. That's your balance point. Now just keep doing that without stopping. <laughs> That was good though. You start, you're finding that balance point and getting comfortable with it, right? Yeah. So Milo's starting to get the front back balance point dialed and I wanna talk about the side to side balance now. That comes secondary to the front to back. Once you get used to finding that balance point with the front wheel in the air, then you need to keep it up so that you can ride them for a long time, right? Yeah. And so to do that, we need to counterbalance which way we're following. So if we start following to the left, you're gonna shift your knees to the right. That was a good one. That might be your longest yet. Yeah, Owen, that was closer. That one definitely was better. It felt pretty good. It's just scary and hard to stay in the balance point. It is, but you started to get into the balance point that time. So that's where getting to where you really trust your back brake modulation okay. to save you from looping out is really gonna be the key to this for you. Okay. So we've gone over everything you need to know to practice wheelies. Now you just have to go out and do it and do it every single day, every single ride. I've been doing wheelies since I was in high school. I still do wheelies every single time I get on the bike. First of all, cause it's fun. Second of all, that's the only way you're gonna keep that balance point tuned up. If this video helped you with wheelies, share it with a friend so they can learn how to ride wheelies too. Cause we wanna be like a wheelie gang, all riding wheelies down the street, down the trails, everywhere. It's kind of the most fun thing we can do. If you're new to the channel, check out some of our other videos. Subscribe if you like them. We'd love to have you on board. We're heading to Whistler soon. The next video is gonna be at Seth's house. I'm going out to Berm Park. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure. Yeah, Milo. Would you say practice pays off? Yes. <laughs> you were slaying it. It was two weeks ago when we practiced a lot and I gave you all those tips. Yep. And now you're just ripping wheelies all over the place. And the other best part is that the more you practice, the better you get. And the better you get, the more fun they are. So the more you want to practice. Yep. <laughs> so just put in the work early on, right? Yeah. <laughs>